Traditional beekeeping is still practiced in Japan to this day and involves keeping native Japanese honeybees typically in a frameless pile box hive. In today's video, we will take you through how Japanese beekeepers remove the frameless boxes for honey extraction. This is Mayu, a beekeeper located outside of Kyoto, Japan. She and her family keep Japanese honeybees and make videos about traditional Japanese beekeeping. She has a hive full of honey that is ready to be harvested. First, she's going to run us through some of the tools she's going to use for the box removal. These large plastic containers store the boxes containing honeycomb after being removed from the hive. These wooden boxes make up the pile box hive. This wooden grid is a duckboard that goes on top of the hive. Inside the blue box, she has a blower to remove the bees during the box removal. In traditional Japanese beekeeping, a blower is used instead of a smoker, since smoke can cause a colony of Japanese honeybees to abscond. She also has her hive tool and some wire. A pile box hive is frameless, so a wire is used to cut the comb between the boxes, as Mayu is demonstrating here. A screwdriver is needed to remove the screws holding down the duckboard on top of the hive and to secure the new duckboard down after extraction. Now that she's shown us the key tools, Maya will take us to the hive. The first thing to do is to remove the rope securing down the roof of the hive.
continues to tap the top of the hive to encourage the bees to move down. This hive in particular is six boxes high, with each box measuring 15 centimeters tall. She now preps the large plastic container. There is a wire stand inside the plastic container to set the wooden box containing the comb. That way the honey drips down to the bottom of the plastic container instead of making the wooden box sticky. A box like this full of honeycomb weighs around 5 kilograms. While filming, the freshly cut honeycomb drew the attention of some bees, so Mayu is using the blower again to gently remove them before placing the honeycomb into the plastic container. To prevent more bees from coming, Mayu quickly places the lid over the box. This colony has ample surplus honey, so Maya will remove one more box, following the same process. First, she gets started by removing the bees by using the blower. 
Remember that before deciding to extract an additional box, it's important to leave enough honey for the bees to avoid over-harvesting. She is once again using the scraper to cut the sides of the comb all around the perimeter of the box. She can now insert the wire to cut the rest of the comb. But this time around, it was a bit more difficult to pull the wire through. So she tries inserting the wire at a different angle. It's always a good idea to keep an extra hive tool on hand just in case a situation like this arises. By using an additional hive tool inserted between the boxes, the wire can more easily slide through and cut the comb. She now preps an additional plastic box for the honeycomb. Before removing the box from the hive, Mayu is making sure to remove any remaining bees with the blower. Now that all the bees have been removed, it can be placed in the plastic box. Mayu does a quick check to make sure there are no lingering bees in the box. She also makes sure to quickly cover the freshly cut honeycomb so it won't attract any of the bees. Now that she finished removing the boxes from the hive for the extraction, she gets ready to close up the hive again. The previous duckboard is covered in beeswax, so Maya will attach the clean one to the top of the hive. She slowly slides the duckboard into place from the side. This helps to avoid accidentally crushing any bees. Now that the duckboard has been slid into place, it can be secured with some screws. This is the second box that Mayu removed. Notice here that there is a darker section of honey. This is honey that was stored from last winter. The lighter colored honey is from the spring. Different flowers bloom throughout the year and the different nectar collected contributes to the variation in honey color. Now let's have a look at the first box that was removed. The color is lighter. Unlike the second box that was removed, this contains honey only from spring this year, thus giving it its lighter appearance. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If you have any questions about keeping Japanese honeybees or beekeeping in Japan, please leave a question below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on Japanese honeybees and please check out our Instagram for daily posts. Thanks again and see you next time.